The collapse of the communist bloc in the 1980s felt like an earthquake in Cuba. But why? Back in the 1960s, the US imposed a trade embargo on Cuba after Fidel Castro's revolution created a socialist state. To the Cuban government, this embargo is the reason why millions couldn't access many food products or medicines. And it was in this context that Cuba turned to the US greatest rival, the Soviet Union, for economic and political support. At that time, the capitalist US and the communist Soviet Union were involved in the Cold War. This relationship between Cuba and the Soviet Union led to one of the most tense periods of the Cold War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, where the world was on the edge of an atomic war. But this close relationship also meant a huge economic dependence from Cuba to the Soviet Union. Just an example, the Soviet Union represented more than 70% of Cuba's trade. 98% of the oil that Cuba used come from the USSR. When I was growing up in Cuba, you could buy cans of food made in the Soviet Union at really low prices. So you can imagine that the collapse of the socialist bloc was brutal for Cuba. Fuel, food, machinery imports ended, and the Cuba's GDP contracted 30% in just three years. Austerity, power cuts, and in many cases, hunger followed, and pushed thousands to live to the US in precarious boats. Many of my own friends were separated from their families during this period. Despite attempts to thaw relations, the sanctions still exist, the economic crisis continues, and the exodus of Cubans even reached new record levels in 2022.